We are doing 4-1 Practice and Problem Solving on Envision 2.0. Welcome to Topic 4. In this topic, you're going to learn about equations and inequalities. Inequalities, by the way, are things like this. X is greater than 5, and that will be graphed like this. So you'll make – this is what is to come, guys. <laughs> So X is greater than five, so it'll be an open circle, and we're gonna shade to the right. That means any value greater than five works, but that's not what we're on today. That'll be later on in the topic. That's just what an inequality is. An equation are things like this. S minus 2.4 equals zero. Okay, so this is an equation, and we're going to test out these values to see what would make this true. So what minus 2.4 would equal 0? Hmm. Well, what we'll eventually get to is the inverse operation of subtraction is addition. So we'll add 2.4 here, and then that cancels out. You see, whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other. So there are two rules to algebra, which you're learning now. That is, you want to find the variable, the variable is the letter, the unknown letter that represents an unknown term. You want to find the variable by itself. And in order to do that, you have to use inverse operations like you did here. And whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other. So we're going to add 2.4 here. And then S equals, because this cancels out to 0, 2.4. So the answer is 2.4, which I'm sure you already knew. But I want to get to all the concepts on why they're giving you this problem first. Because they're showing you an additive inverse, which is what that's called. Okay, next. Okay, see this right here? 3 times C equals 21. Now, I usually write it like this. I usually write 3C equals 21. See how it's on the left side? But... This is a great example because it shows you that you can have it on the right side too, either, either way. Now, the 3 here is called the coefficient. The C is the variable, and we're saying it's equal. Now, this means times, 3 times C. The inverse of multiplying by 3 is dividing by 3, so I'm going to divide by 3, and that cancels out to 1, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1 times C is C. That's the first rule of algebra. Get C, get the variable by itself. <clears throat> if you divide by 3 on one side of the equation, you have to divide by 3 on the other. Whatever you do on one side of the equation, you have to do on the other side of the equation. That's the second rule of algebra. So C equals 21 divided by 3. 21 divided by 3. Think of a fraction as a division sign. So C equals 7. Now you always want to check it. So 3 times 7 is 21. So that checks. And here, they're just wanting you to test out each value. So let's see. 3 times 4? Nope, that's 12. 3 times 7? That's 21. So yeah, there it is. So they're like giving you some choices to check it. And uh, you can use a calculator to check. So $17.65 minus what equals $2.10? Let's see. So $17.65 minus, and then I'm going to try $15.55. $15.55. Yep. That equals it, 2.1 equals $2.10. Wow, we got it on the first try. It doesn't always happen. Whoa, whoa, what happened there, guys? Get a little preview. Uh, 54 divided by what equals 3? Well, let's try 1. 54 divided by 1 is 54, so it's not 1. Let's cross out A. 54 divided by 2 is not 3. I know that. 54 
divided by 3. What's 54 divided by 3? Well, it's not 3 because 3 times 3 is 9. 54 divided by 6 is 9. It's not 3, so there's no solution here is given in the set value. So what it's saying is if you're just saying these values, the answer is not there. Oh, it's doing it again, huh? That's weird. All right, so which equations have 5 as a solution? 7, so we're going to test it out. 7 minus 5 is 2, so not that one. 5 plus 4 is 9, so yeah, that one is one of them. 3 times 5 is 15. Yep, that's one of them. And 30 divided by 5 is 6, so that is one of them too. Which equation has 23 for a solution? All right, let's see. 23 plus 20 equals 45. No. 23 plus 20 is 50. Nope, that would be 43. 23 plus 20 is 39. Mm -mm. 23 plus 20 is 43. All right, so not, yeah, not so bad on this one. Thanks, guys. Welcome to the world of algebra. We're going to be learning a lot in this topic, so come back and join us. Thanks. Bye.